<laughs> Away, Away, Chris! Chris! <laughs> Hi guys, how's it? Good in you! The sound is a little bit delayed. I'm good, I'm good. No complaints on my side. Fantastic! Chris, two weeks ago we were talking about community upliftment projects or what, um, there was a specific word and you said that you've already started with something like that. That's what we want to talk to you about tonight. Okay, yeah. Basically, I've, I mean, we've been now open since October 2018. And for about that first year, I was hustling alone and working at my full-time job, <laughs> running Sacred Seeds and family time, all of that. So about uh, March this year, January 1, uh, not January 1, March 1, I decided, okay, I'm going to, I need some help. It doesn't help, you're going to try to lobe. at that point, customer service was starting to go backward. So I can only handle so much communication at any given time. And I don't know, Buzz probably knows they bother you all. It's like I'm a 24-7 shop. I don't mind, especially during lockdown. <laughs> but um, since then, I've hired five employees already. Uh, it's people I know, people who hustle. Uh, I get these inboxes every day that... Um, People need help, they need assistance, they need guidance. Worth growing. And it just doesn't seem to be enough of it. In the, and particularly in the, when I talk about it, particularly I'm referring to the poor communities. The communities where I live. I live in a hard MP development myself. So I see it. There's no jobs. The guys don't know shit about weed except smoking it. And the fact remains is we're there to educate the guys educate them, help them understand. And it's not about money. It's about understanding how fucking expensive indoor weed is. Mm. So uh, growing for the enjoyment, and that can, that can turn into something special. I mean, you can capitalize from it. But from the staff point of view, as I've hired staff, started with my nephew, he's only 20 years old. I threw him on the deep side. <laughs> so I allowed him to do the courier stuff. <laughs> But he needs the hustle. I was obviously at 16, was probably more mature than what he is at 20, was probably 30, for um, different generation, obviously. Yeah. But he's got an edible company. And we started that about two, three weeks ago. And it's doing really well from the kickoff. So I, get, I make sure he's a majority shareholder. And also, when I offered him, I told him, look, we're going to go into business. We're going to do it 50 50. And he says, yes, Uncle Chris. I says, no, you don't just agree. Right. You say, wait, that sounds like something important. It sounds really good. But let me think about it. So it's not about nobody's trying to take advantage of anybody. That's a learning curve. It's understanding that So you don't just take people on the word, even if they're family. Yes, <laughs> so indeed. You need a and you stand up for yourself. An and what is the percentage <laughs> is going to be? And when do you get this percentage? So for me, it's about financial education. That's a lot of things. That's... Mm. It's really a lot of things. It's about, it starts by, I have a particular way of doing business. I have a particular way, the way I do my family, etc. I can be very hardcore. Um, I work extremely hard. I'm a workaholic. So that I'm trying to teach to the staff. Every staff member, Hardy Lee, my nephew, Merlin, who's, I'm going to help him start an apparel company. We're busy with that. Uh, uh, Vivian and Uma. I just started a hood business for them. And it's not about making money for me. The hood business needs to make money for you guys to earn a salary and to buy more hood at the end of the month. Yeah. It's about creating employment in that way. And every day, the group of us, we are spending time together. So that means they are learning all the time. <coughs> Customer service is obviously our biggest priority. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. I try to be the best in the game because I still consider myself small fry compared to the bigger guys, much bigger guys, Trophy and Green Smoke. I appreciate Yeah. I wish there could be more seed banks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and trying to tell the guys I'm prepared to supply you at that prices, but I don't see you guys knocking on my door and asking for the help. It's not about money. It's about free advice. And I'm going to educate you. Mm. And the guys that are with me, all five of them, they are learning 
the one has barely started. I've known him 20 years, a friend of mine. And when I put him on to it and I told him, he has an idea. Within a week, he had some makeshift online store for CBD and I told him, okay, just get a proper domain and do it better. Hmm. And he did exactly that. CBDalive.coza and sent me the link, the proactiveness. So nobody's going to be on my crew that sleeping on the job. I mean, come on. You seem to be very good at leading by example. Oh, definitely. Um, there, there isn't, the guys know I live a life and I run my business based on karma. So like most of us, we all have a past. Yes. I've paid my debt. Yes. And people wonder why I'm blessed. But it's not about money. If you do the right thing all the time, that is when the blessings are basically bestowed on you. Now, I'm not a religious guy. I don't believe in religion. But I do believe in there's something bigger than me. And once things go right for you in the way it goes right for me, I'm blessed beyond words. The guys want to know why. And they're starting, including my brother, starting to, uh, my brothers. Nice. Recently, as the reason last, my second house brother said he wants to get into the industry. Somebody that looked down on it initially, wow. like the rest of the family. It was no. just myself and Colin, my, my brother. We always together. So I con could convince my mom nearly 20 years ago that this cannabis does not change us. You didn't know up until five years after the fact. And I'm smoking 20 years now every day just to prove the point. So I've got my late dad was behind me. He knew as well. And my mom currently. And they are... Some of them, especially my mom, is not surprised by the success eventually. I was a naughty lady. So they thought I was probably going to pan up in jail. <laughs> you got a naughty smile. I can see you were naughty. <laughs> I'm, I'm very grim, like I, I was a naughty lady. But nonetheless, for me, it's about Hardy, my nephew. He already has an edible company and it's doing well from the word go. I'm obviously there to mentor him and market and. Send us some so we can show it off on the show, bruh. Huh? We're going to do it for sure. <laughs> Our audience was probably listening, so we will definitely forward that. And then um, my other employee, it's all about, I'm teaching me about the credit scores. They want to buy property with me. So we're oh, going to buy property together. And I'm going to make them all property owners. Wow. So that's the dream. They've all got families, uh, with the exception of Hardy being the youngest. Everybody has families. The eldest is 59. Wow. Hustling, big time. And as they start, you start Everybody uplifting them, they start uplifting their families, and hopefully that starts growing and growing and growing and into the community. That's the point. Ne? Exactly. So it's at that point that I want them, once <laughs> they have companies, because they all work for Sacred Seeds and my bigger parent company. So everything goes through me. Uh, I have basically a small piece of the pie interest in each company to keep them motivated and to make sure I get paid in some form uh, eventually. Mm. But then they know I will, if, if, it, if I own 10% of the company, then I'm going to give it 100% to make sure that I make sure that the 10% is all worth it. Yeah, that I get paid and uh, that it's due to me. But eventually it will get bigger. The snowball effect happens. And obviously... We are family. When the shit eats the fan, we're all packing. <clears throat> In this industry, believe it or not, security conscious is a good thing. Yeah. So if you're packing, that's a good thing. We make sure yeah. we're all pack. Yeah. But I'm there for the emotional support. Mm. Personal psychology. Business psychology. So you've got a problem with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Well, no boyfriends because we're just a bunch of men working right now at this point. But if you have a personal problem, you can see me in person or we can speak as a group. That's and amazing because when you've like got personal problems, it's hard to focus on work. And if you've got someone that you can talk that through with and who can help give you guidance and then still have the understanding of what you're going through in the work situation, that is really... That's support. That is a supportive <clears throat> work uh, environment. I love your work, bro. So we're a real family. And they see me, I'm a very emotional person. They will see it with 
tears in my eyes, I will tell them, the love is real between us, and I'm there, it's no different to you, my real brother, and that's how I feel about it. My dad kind of rubbed that off on me, that um, when I get to know people, I give them my all. Mm. It doesn't have to be money always, because I never had money. <laughs> I'm a poor folk. I mean, Sacred <laughs> Seeds was started with 12,000 Rand from my credit card. Yeah. And it's a story for another day, because that leads to another story, but I don't want you guys to get sad. <laughs> but um, the thought okay. process that led to Sacred Seeds for a few months prior to that, that is a complete story on its own. <laughs> And when I eventually opened, I couldn't eventually. I had a lot of businesses in the last 20 years, ice and hood and hustling at the street corner, selling plums. I'm the real hustler. I can do anything. Um, uh, there's no ego. This that you see here is the real thing. I love life. Chris, can you, can you tell us where the name Sacred Seeds is from? <coughs> okay. Um, yes, it's quite simple. Sacred, my surname is Kader, C-A-D-E-R, mm -hmm. and my family would be the Kaders. So if you jumble up the letters, you get Kaders. And brand. that's my family. And I started this brand with the intention to pass it down onto my family, my brothers and their kids and my kids. And, yeah, <laughs> it's by pure chance that it came out to Sacred. And, yes, the whole... It's got dual meaning. I've got my brother using it, asked me, can you use the name? And I said, yeah, sure. He started a, a company, Sacred Seafoods. So we're going to change the logo a little bit and adapt it to what he wants. But that was the basic idea. And them being religious, sacred, whatever, would mean something completely different than what it means to me. Sacred is obviously my surname, but at the same time, it's all about the herb. And yeah. the seed. And if it's medicine, it's sacred. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 